Hello everyone, this is Rakesh and today we are going to learn how to overwrite the existing page and also use some tab panels and tabs, tags in Visual Force. So for that, we need some knowledge before proceeding further. Click on this accounts tab and choose any record of that account. Now see that this is the account detail and this is the contact opportunities cases. These are all called related list of this account details. Okay. So there are if if there are lots of um, records or in every related list, then there is a lot much of scrolling to go down and go to up. So can we create a tab panel and there's tabs uh, each tab for every related lists like in first tab details we can see all this stuff all this and click on the next tab and see the contacts and then opportunities so how exactly we can do that okay now just create a new page okay i'm going to name my visual force page as tab account hit enter and now click on this link and here we go this is the page and this is the code okay now remove all these things so this is the apex page starting tag and this is the closing one okay just add an attribute that is called standard controller and right here account save it and here we go now the account tab is currently active okay now uh, just start by creating a tab panel okay right apex tab panel here yeah? this is the opening one and this is the closing one okay apex tab panel if you save it then there's a small very thin line okay because there's nothing okay now just add something that is called apex tab okay like apex yeah tab if you choose from this intelligence you just got the closing one okay otherwise you have to just write and i am so lazy so don't want to write anything more okay so i use the intelligence and then save it to see the reflection yeah now this is the tab panel and this is the first tab that is this apex tab okay now it's time to add something like label for this tab okay so in this apex tab starting tag add uh, an attribute that is called not title it's label okay right here details because here the first thing is the details of this account so we wanted to add in our first tab all this stuff okay write details and save it and now our tab name is details and nothing is there because we do not have any code which can does the same work okay to carry all these steps and paste here okay now it's time to add um, as we already know that is apex detail all right not define it's d e d a i l detail okay and save it is nothing why because we don't have any uh, id here so just copy that id and here yeah, just write question mark id equals page that id and hit enter and here we go as you can see this is the account detail and these are all the related lists so we don't want the related list we only want this account detail for that we need to 
something that is uh, here in the detail add uh, an attribute that is called related list and make it false you save this and here we go this is the detail of this account and nothing else okay but what is this account united oil what is this i don't want that so just make the title also false save it and here we go nothing else okay if you want to make it true that's also good true and here we go right so in this way we can display um, any details like okay in our apex tab so it's time to create another one for what for this contact uh, contacts related list okay for that we need to do nothing just copy this and uh, it's very simple paste it okay the tab label just write contacts c o n t a c t s contacts right now delete that because we do not need because it is the contact is actually a related list so there is apex related list and here just add a subject and add our uh, what we call it uh, expression tag and right here account so the account will call this standard controls method that is called get account and it just return this id okay and on behalf of this id um, we are going to display the list which is called context okay save this and here we go there are two tabs here first the details and now click on this contacts and we got this contact okay so here is no opportunities okay for that what we need to do is just copy paste mm, copy the opportunity from here and then paste and then in the list again paste save this and here we go there is an opportunity tab okay there's no record let's go and check there is no record right now it's time for the case now come down and then copy and paste it's copy paste copy paste <laughs> yeah we got the same thing we are going to do for every tab everything is same okay paste and save now there are four tab that is called cases and you can see there are three reports come here and see there are three reports so in this way we can create some what we call tabs okay and all the apex tab is inside the tab panel okay now uh, notice one thing if i click opportunities tab now the complete page is refreshed okay so we want that it is not good okay because when click there the, all the page is going to be refreshed so for that we need something called switch type in the apex tab panel starting tag we are going to write a attribute that is called switch type and make it client type okay so save this and now click on this contact nothing else yeah the page is not refreshed Let's click on this okay it is like uh, ajax not like ajax i think this is in this is ajax effect okay the only uh, refreshing things is this the in tab panel and all this stuff are as it is right now add some uh, style i mean to say css so the look and feel is because this is looking ugly yeah just add some style for that 
for this we need to add style style and this is the starting tag and this is the closing one for CSS so just create a class like active tab okay tab is tab okay now um, add background cover is white and uh, color is white here make it another color okay so I'm going to delete that and make it blue okay white and background image image is none okay so this is the style for the active tab and just copy and paste is and write here inactive tab and make it something like um, yellow and uh, make it black black and then save this that's it now there is no effect because we are not uh, say uh, we do not tell the tab panel apex tab panel tag that use this style okay for that we need to say to that apex tab that please just use all these things to make yourself beautiful <laughs> right for that uh, just right here active tab so active tab class is an attribute okay add here a class name that is called active tab right now it's time for inactive tab class is also an attribute and right here inactive tab save this and now here we go <laughs> yeah now not so much beautiful but yeah it is good if you are a, a creator or you interested in CSS then add more things to make it more beautiful right for now that's right that's it okay so uh, here we can summarize all these things uh, make it large so you can easily see that so this is the apex standard control account is the starting tag and we are going to use this account okay so this is the style code of the css and we are going to apply this css in this our tab panel okay and these are all the tab you also create lots of tabs if you want okay and this is the apex related list because contacts opportunities and cases and others are the, here they are all the related list of this account so we want to use this related list okay that's it now it's time to move on and the next thing is that how we can overwrite this page like if we go to accounts and click on any of the uh, records then this scrolling and there is no tab that we have created so for that we have to overwrite this page in salesforce by our own visual force page that name is tab account just come here quick find box right buttons okay and in the accounts there is a button links an action link click on is and then in the last there is a view okay label view name view okay here click on this edit link and choose this visual force page okay so we want to overwrite with our visual force page and select the tab account page name and save it here we go now click on this accounts and choose any of the record and here we go now there is not much of scrolling needed there are all tabs okay so now in this way we can override any existing page in uh, salesforce and also we also use this tab panel and these tabs 
So for now, I hope you enjoy this and 